morning and welcome to week two of Ready, Set, Go Christmas! I'm so excited, it's almost Advent, lots and lots of fun and I love this time of year to the songs, the decorations, the food, the stories, so much fun happening and before we get to all of our fun and silliness, uh, let's sing a song. We haven't done this song since last year, so I'm so excited. Can anybody remember All the Angels Sing? I'll give you a hint. It goes, ah. That's my favourite bit of the whole song. So stand up and get ready to sing and dance with me. Christ has come, Christ has come to, a to a manger bed. Mary laid him there. Ah, come and fill the sky, fill the sky with, shouts with shouts of praise. Lift your voice with me, voice with me. and sing, 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 sing. Then. Nearly an advent. I do love advent. Happy morning, Christmas advent. Morning. Nearly Christmas, Robin. Yeah, something like that. It's a lot of words. Mm. It's a lot of words. Now, so advent next week. Next week. I love it. Next week. I love advent. And what, what, do we, what do we open? Chocolate. We open our advent calendars. I haven't got mine yet. You haven't got one yet. No. You've not got one, Jen. No, I've got it. I've got to get it. I've got, got, to, get got it. to get it quickly before yeah, yeah, yeah. all the best ones go. I, I'm off to Lidl. Yeah. They do really good ones. Do they? Other shops are available. Mm. So other than chocolate for breakfast every day, yeah. I wonder what's your favourite thing about Advent? Oh, do you know what? I like I like it when we've decorated Yes. Christmas. I'm not keen on the actual process, I'll be honest, because I'm a bit rubbish. Okay. Okay. It is a skill. Uh, it is a skill, skill that I do not have. But I love it when all the baubles are on there and the lights are twinkling and yeah, that's my mm. favourite thing. Can I tell you a secret? What? I already have my Christmas tree up. <sighs> it's not December yet. It has to be up before Advent starts <clears throat> so I'm ready for Advent. Well, mine always goes up in the beginning of December so mine will be up very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. Mm. I can't believe it's like 
four or five weeks to Christmas. Oh my goodness, that's really exciting. Do you want me to tell you something? Yeah. I've finished all my Christmas shopping. No way. Yeah. Check you out. I've all my Christmas up. all my Christmas shopping is done. All I need to do is wrap it. Mm. That's the best part. <laughs> wrap it. Not that kind of wrapping. That kind of wrapping. Yeah, so there you go. Mm -hmm. I've finished my Christmas shopping. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> What's today? I don't know. What is today? I wasn't here last week. Oh, right. So okay. Just, so I'm not sure what's happening. So we, we've just started a brand new programme okay. called Ready, Set, Go Christmas. Oh. So, it, so and we're doing it. We've had to do it early, Bob. Okay. And the reason we've had to do it early is because two out of the four weeks of Advent, we're having some crazy all-in <gasps> services. I have heard about these. Very excited. Uh, the first all-in service is the second week of Advent. Okay. And it's going to be our scratch nativity. <gasps> what are you going to come as? <sighs> I'm going to come as a shepherd. Can I come as a star? If you want. I'm going I'm to be a star. I've always wanted to be a shepherd. Why would you to be a shepherd? Always wanted to be a shepherd. You can be a shepherd. I'm going to be a shepherd. Um, so that's in week two. And then week four, which is Christmas Eve. Yes. Um, is our Christine Gold? I love Christine Gold. So one of my favourite parts of Christmas. So yeah, so yeah, so we're getting a bit excited. So we're starting Christmas just a fraction earlier than everybody else. Well, that's okay. Yeah. So do you know what today's subject is? I think. Yeah. Is it gonna be so? If it's week two of Christmas, yeah, that means that like you've already spoken a little bit. I'm guessing about Jesus. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's gonna be about. John? John. Yes. John. Cousin John. Cousin John. Cousin John. Cousin John. Which is a bit of a weird thing to talk mm. about somebody else at Christmas. But do you know the story of John or do you, would you like me to tell you it? You, I think I know it, but I'd like you to tell it. Right, okay. So a feeling like a listening today. A feeling like a listening. So, um, so there's, there's a guy called Zechariah. Yes. Okay, and he's a priest. <laughs> a very, very high up. Very high up. And he's married to uh, a lady called Elizabeth. Yes. And they're quite old and they oh. don't have any children. Is there anybody in the Bible that you know of that were quite old and didn't have any children and God promised them children? <gasps> Abraham and Sarah. Abraham and Sarah. So it's a bit like the New Testament version oh. of Abraham and Sarah. Now, what happens is um, Zechariah, he's there in the temple doing his temple jobs. Yeah. Okay. And an angel arrives. Oh, I know. Did that happen normally? It, was was, it wasn't strange? a normal situation, no. And so he was a bit shocked, like, yeah. oh, who are you? And this angel tells him that he and uh, Elizabeth are going to have a son. And he can't believe it. He's like, I'm really old. Nobody believes it, do they? No, nobody believes it. And, uh, and, and, and because he kind of like made a bit of a, ooh, that's not going to happen. The angel said to him, as punishment for not believing me, oh, you're not going to be able to speak until your son is born. So that's like nine months of not being able to speak. Oh my goodness. I know. And he said, and you, he's right. going to be called John. Okay. And he's a really important guy because he is going to lead the way for the coming of the Messiah. Okay, so you can imagine Zechariah being kind of really, really excited about that. But actually, as soon as he left the temple, he couldn't speak. And like his mouth was moving and nothing was coming out. Oh. And then he goes home and Elizabeth tells him that she's pregnant. And for nine months, this poor man oh can't speak. That must have been so hard. It must have been so hard. Now, eventually, um, John is born. Okay. And they take him to the temple to, to kind of like thank God for him. It was, it was a special ceremony that the Jewish people do. And they took him to the temple and, uh, and they had to name him. And so it was normally the dad who would name the son, but he still hasn't got his voice back. Even though the baby's born, he still hasn't got his voice back. Oh. And uh, so they say, oh, what are you going to call him? Are you going to name him after you? Is he going to be called Zachariah? Is that what they normally did? Yeah, they normally name quite, dad. quite often, yeah. Or the dad would give them a name. Right. And, uh, and Elizabeth had to pipe up because, you know, Zachariah wasn't talking. <laughs> and she said his name will be John. And at that moment, Zachariah got his, 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 his voice back and he said, yes, his name will be John. 
Um, and so and so this little baby at this point is really, really important because he's actually, the, if you remember, we called him Cousin John. Yes. He's Jesus' cousin. Oh. I know. So basically, when Mary is pregnant with Jesus, Elizabeth, her cousin, is pregnant with John. She's a bit further further pregnant yes. than Mary. And she's a bit older. And she's a bit older than Jesus, but only probably a few months. So there you go. So Cousin John is very important to the Christmas story because he is the guy that actually points out when he's older, he's the one. He's, he's coming. He's, he's come. He's arrived. So he's this guy that's really important that kind of lays the ground for Jesus. That's really cool. I know. And he, he's born around Christmas too. So how cool is that? Two Christmas babies. Two Christmas babies. Although we do know that Jesus wasn't born exactly on Christmas no, Day. That's when we celebrate. That's, that's when we celebrate his birthday. But so, yeah, so there you go. It's a really cool story. Hmm, that's when they celebrate his birthday. Hmm. And the good thing as oh. well is that it kind of mirrors the Old Testament with Abraham and Sarah. So it shows that God can do amazing things. God, God can do amazing things. And he always keeps, keeps his promises. He always keeps his promises. And, and I mean, let's just pause for a minute. So he couldn't talk. That's crazy. Yeah. But he was old. He was old. I mean, how old are we talking? Are we talking like grandparents, parents, or like great, great, great grandparents? I'm thinking kind of grandparents old. But I don't actually but know. But can you imagine your grandma and granddad having a baby? Well, my grandma would be over 100 now, so that's a oh bit... Oh, my goodness. Old. That's a bit... Yeah. Well, my grandma is in her 60s and 70s. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's too old to be having a baby. It is too old to be having a baby. Yeah. So that's... No wonder Zachary didn't yeah. believe in yeah. the angel. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, there you go. And I'm just wondering if it's the same angel that went to see Mary. But we'll we learn about that angel in Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hear about a few angels coming up, aren't we? Oh, for sure, for sure. Interesting fact that I learn every year. I think about this. Every angel says, "Don't be afraid." I know every single every angel. single angel says, "Don't be afraid." I've got a sneaky feeling this one did as well, yeah. but I missed it out. But they always say, "Don't be afraid." They always do, and people are always afraid. Well, it is a shock. To say it is a bit of a shock. Yeah. Shall we pray? Yes. Can I pray? You can pray. So. Dear God, we thank you for today's story. We thank you that you sent John to make the way for Jesus. We thank you that we can read about the life of Jesus and his family and those around him and how, how amazing it is and how you can do amazing things like, uh, like the birth of John and the birth of Abraham and Sarah and of Jesus. And we just thank you for all these amazing things and we pray that you will do amazing things in our lives in these coming weeks in Advent as we start to think about Jesus' birth. Amen. Amen. Okay. Know what time it is? I do know what time it is. I've missed a week, so I'm very excited. I'm less excited, I'll be honest with you. I, I believe in you. Because I'm I'm not really not very good at this game. I am trying on us, boys and girls. I'm really trying. I just hope I can get one in the bucket today. I believe in you. Let's go to the game. Let's go. but I've got to not hit bobs. And it's not straight anymore, it's an angle. We yeah. still have to stay in our place. Yeah, so I think it's going to be a lot more difficult. I don't need it to be more difficult because I'm struggling. <laughs> anyway. I did manage one. That's progress. Over two weeks. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to give it a go. We'll see what happens. I'll see if I can get at least a thing in the bucket and then you can win. Okay, we'll let's give it a go. I'm 
I am rubbish at this game. I have got zero again, and Bob has got three. <laughs> um, I don't even think the size of the bucket is the issue. I just I'm not pointing it in the right direction. We'll have some practice about how uh, how to aim. How to aim. Come back next week and try again. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll give I'll give it another go. <laughs> I'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, everybody. It's nearly time for us to say goodbye. Bye to week number two of Ready, Set, Go Christmas. Um, I'm really sorry, boys and girls. I am really not doing well in this game. I got a big fat zero. And even after we stopped filming, I had a little go and I managed to get one in. Um, but that was, yeah, it, it, I'm not doing very well. I need more practice. So I'm going to practice this week uh, ready for next week so I can at least get one in. Anyway, uh, enough of my game antics. Um, don't forget this week, so this week we've got Ignite Life Group as usual, 6.30 tomorrow night. Uh, we've got Ignite Extra as the usual times of 6.30 till 8, not 8.30, till 8. So it's 6.30 till 8 on Friday with Robin and the gang. And we're going to have loads and loads of fun continuing with our journeys in the Bible. It's been a really, really good, um, yeah, it's been really, really good to learn about different places that people have gone to in the Bible. Uh, now, I've also got something really, really exciting to remind you of. So on the 15th of December, Ignite Extra is not on because we are bringing back Ignite Kids. Uh, so get your splash tank clothes ready because I'm going to get the splash tank out and we'll get wet and it's going to be loads and loads of Christmassy silly Ignite Kids fun. So don't forget to invite as many of your friends as you can. It's basically a holiday club in an evening. It's going to be awesome. So don't forget, 15th of December, 6.30 till 8, Ignite Kids. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Um, also, don't forget, we've got our Scratch Nativity on week two of Advent. We've got our Chris Dingle on Christmas Eve, don't forget, we've got our forum event on the 6th of December. Mums and dads, if you want to come to that, you need to book on. Not just for the boys and girls, but for family. It's the whole family. Every single person in the family has to have a ticket. It's a ticketed event because we have got limited amount of space in the forum room that we are using. Uh, but it's free. So even though you've got to get a ticket, it's free. You don't have to pay. You just need to get a ticket and all of the information has been sent out to you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off with a prayer because there's loads and loads of stuff that we've had to think about. And let us wiggle our fingers. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Logo, we thank you so much for Advent. We thank you for all the fun that we're gonna have this Christmas. And I pray your blessing on all the boys, all the girls, all the mums, all the dads, all the grands, all the granddads, and everybody else that is watching this. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.